Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Brunel and today we are doing our cash dubbing for our last paycheck in December. I got paid on the 31st and so did my fiance. So that is why you're seeing this in January as I'm still finishing up <laughs> December. So let's go ahead and get right into it. As usual, I always count my fiance's tips first. So this week he didn't get as much in tips. But that's okay, so we have 10, 15, 16. So I do have my cash totals, my teller slip right here. And so this is gonna tell me if I got the correct amount from the bank and how much I needed. So let's go ahead and count what we got and hopefully it matches. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100. So that is correct there. 150 to 250. So that's 150 in 50s, which is correct. So we should have 120s. So 20, 40, 60, 81. Okay, and then we should have 110 and 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. And in fives, we should have 35, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And four ones. So one, two, three, four. And we do, which means we have $1,499. I am going to go ahead and set this to the side. And if anyone's curious, this is my teller slip that I made. They are not quite available. I am still working on my website and trying to get them ready for you guys. I promise you my website will be up in the month of January. It's just taking me a while to get everything up there. So please stay tuned. I will let you guys know when it's up there. And I also have a new sheet that I'm so excited to share with you guys that will be on my website as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're gonna start out with our bill binder first. So this is our long-term sinking funds binder. So I am gonna set this to the side. Okay, so rent is getting $1,000. And then my rent will be ready for the month of January. So it's getting everything but one. So 1, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So there should be 1,600 in this envelope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000, one, two, three, four, five, six. So my rent is ready to go. It's not quite due yet. It's due on the fifth and today is the third. So we will get there. So when it's due, I will go ahead and take that out. Now, phone is getting $25, and it has 30 so far, so 20 and a 5 just puts it at $20, $50, which I did update my sheets, and that is correct. Now, my J loan and my M loan are both getting $10. If you are new to my channel, these are personal loans through family members, and I pay them on the 15th of every month, and they get $150 each, so $300 a month, and that goes towards my debt. So J loan now has $20. M loan is the same, so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually add that 10 to this one. Now, car payment is getting $15 so it should have 30 when we're done so 10 20 25 30 and excuse my voice you guys I have been sick 
so I sound a little raspy and just in and out. Car insurance is getting $10 and it only has 10. So we're just gonna add that and it now has 20. And car insurance is not due until the 21st of the month. Credit one is getting $10 and it has $10 still. My minimum payment for this is 40. So we are halfway there. It has 20 now. Now Capital One is getting $10 as well, but the minimum payment for this is 25. So we only have five more dollars left and this one will be ready for its payment. Internet is not getting anything this time, but it does have $15. Subscriptions is not getting anything because on the first of every month, I put the money in my account and since we got paid on the 31st, I just decided to leave that money in there already. That way I didn't have to pull it out and then two days later put it back in and do all that. So I didn't take it out this time just because of how our payday landed, but it does have $83 in it waiting for all my subscriptions for the entire month to go through. Now utilities is getting $20, but it's getting 10 for power and 10 for water and trash. So 10 for power, 10 for water and trash. So utilities now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, $174. And this is for my power bill and my water, trash, and recycling. Now on to my expenses. We ended up not needing to spend this $10, which actually just helped because now I don't need to budget 60. I just need to budget 50. So we're going to add a 50 and now we have $60, which I found a super cheap gas station near our house. So I ended up being able to fill up our car now for 60 instead of 70, which I'm so excited about. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here because it is almost time to fill up. Eating out is not getting anything. And then I have change in here, so let me go ahead and take this out and add it to our change jar. Okay, you guys, so there is 43 cents here, and it's going in our jar. Now, necessities is getting $50 this time. Okay, and then groceries is getting $100. Okay. Luna is not getting anything, and I and my fiancé are not getting anything. Snowball is getting $50 and I'm actually going to go take this to the bank right after because of being sick. I have not made it to the bank and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know about it and I'm just like not going anywhere right now. So I just don't feel good and so this is actually the $150 for December snowball payment. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this $50 and as soon as I feel better or I have someone who is willing to take this to the bank for me. I will be paying this on a credit card. This is $200 towards Snowball. And I did forget to update that sheet, but I will. Now, car maintenance is getting $10 because we are having car problems. If you guys missed my last video, go check it out. I'm really considering getting a new car. <laughs> Tell me if you think I should or if I shouldn't. Check out that last video and find out like why I'm even thinking about it. But yeah, so car maintenance is getting 10. Beauty is not getting anything or clothes. Okay, so we are done with our bills, our expenses, our debt, and our short-term sinking funds. Now on to our long-term sinking funds. Okay, so emergency is getting $20, and it only has 20 in there now, so it should be at 40 So there's 40 Now, each of my girls is only getting $5 this time, and that's because we had to put so much towards rent 
there's just not a lot a lot left over which is okay because we just put this money in there so she now my oldest now has 10 15 20 her name is Ava she actually turns six on January 6th so she's super excited about that Alexandria is getting five and she has 10 that puts her at 15 and we are slowly but surely working our way back up to where they were so Anastasia is getting five and she only has five in there so she now has 10 okay family time is getting $42 and that is because this is actually Christmas money to my fiance and I that we have decided to put towards family time instead of spending on ourselves we want to hurry up and go to Disney World so we have 20 40 41 42 that's going into family time now you guys remember me saying that I have a new sheet that I'm so excited for and it is a Disney savings tracker so I want to share this with you guys <laughs> so it is obviously the Disney castle and it is Disney based and it says complete this challenge by saving the sum in each piggy bank and mark it off to $1,000 this is my sheet I made this this will be available for you guys but I also have two more to share with you so give me just a second so obviously a thousand dollars may not seem like enough if you don't live near Disney World. I live within an hour so I don't have to stay at a hotel. I just have to go for like one day parking, eating and stuff like that and our tickets in. So that's why I'm saving a thousand. Now my budget before was 700 and it still actually is but I wanted to round that up to a thousand in case for some reason we are blessed with a little bit extra money and I can hit 1000. I would love to, but if you don't live near Disney, I also made a $3,000 savings tracker and a $5,000 savings tracker. So this is if you have to pay for air travel, for hotel stay, for whatever it may be, I did put a low end 1000, a middle range three, and a high end of 5000. So these will be available on my website here soon in January. And I have two other colors in these available as well, but you're gonna have to wait to see those until my website launches. But I wanted to share these with you guys because I'm so excited about them. So, because we just stuffed 42, I get to color in my first piggy banks. And I'm going to write today's date, which is the date that we are starting. So that's 1, 3 of 20... 2022. Who else can believe that we're in the year of 2022? That's mind boggling to me. So I am so excited to do this. This is such a helpful like tracker to keep me encouraged and to just motivate me by coloring them in. And then once I hit 1000, it'll be done. I'm so excited for that. So this is my savings tracker for Disney. Now this will work for Disney World or Disneyland. That's why I just put Disney. I'm obsessed with this. I love it. This is my probably my favorite thing that I've done so far. So I was super excited to share it with you guys. So this is it. And next time we cash stuff, hopefully we'll be able to color in some more. Okay, so now wedding is getting 25 and that's because I honestly, I'm just eager to get married. <laughs> And so we're putting 25 in here. We're so far away from our goal, but we'll get there. Now, the last one that is getting stuffed is birthdays and it's getting 17. And that's because my daughter's birthday is in a couple days. So 10, 15, 16, and 17.
Now, if we go back to my daughter, Ava, because her school is actually back here for her bill every month, her tuition, because I don't have a bind, like a folder for it yet, a cash envelope. So I'm just gonna add $10 to that because that is coming up and it's $39. So she now has 20 towards that. Now the last bit is my fiance's tip. So he has $16 that's going into savings challenge. And what I use this for is at the end of the month, I take whatever's in here and I either put it towards debt or I put it towards sinking funds, wherever I feel like I wanna put it towards. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in. And now it should have 73, so 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Did I miscount? I think I did. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67 dollars i miscounted you guys <laughs> so i will update my tracker but there is 67 dollars in here okay you guys so that is gonna do it for today's video if you are not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button we are past 800. I can't even believe that we are so close to 1,000. That is just mind blowing to me. And as soon as we hit 1,000, we are doing a cash giveaway. So subscribe so you can be a part of that once we hit that goal. And if you don't have me on Instagram, go ahead and add me. I'll leave it on the screen and also in the description bar down below. I share way more over there of just being personal me I talk more about my finances. I show you guys like when I scan in my receipts. I show my stuff I'm working on with my website. I just show a lot more over there and more of my personal goals. So I will be doing a video on my goals for 2022 that is coming up. So stay tuned. And that will probably actually be my next video and then my monthly budget. So I will see you guys over there in my next video. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. And thank you guys for all of your continued support. I am trying to feel better and rest my voice. So I'm going to go ahead and leave. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.